Welcome yes, what, please. to Bangkok Airport. <laughs> Today, we go behind the scenes of the world's smiliest airport. <laughs> we meet the Far East's happiest immigration officer. I love my job. And the laughing doctor who has his patients in stitches. <laughs> but not everyone's smiling. They're not really taking care of me, in a nutshell. Melody's lost her passport and Matt can't get back to Rotherham. Well, I'm here forever than on John's round Asia trip hits the skids. <laughs> I had to wrap that around my head because I didn't know how bad the cut was. And will Paul make it to the gate after a big night out in departures? Cheers. It's just another day at the Airport of Smiles, and no one smiles more than Jack. My name is Captain Jackapong. You come you can call me Jack. Yeah, Captain Jack. I love my job, you know. I love my I love my job. I love to be immigration. Ching, 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 ching. I issued a visa on arrival. One passenger, I have to stand it three times. Then I have to count ching, 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 ching from this classic numbering machine. I love this machine. The sound so good. See? And then I issue the visa from stamping. This is the visa. Done. Okay? It makes my day. I don't know, I, I just love it. Yes! After clearing immigration, the adventure begins. The airport handles 50 million passengers a year, and Bangkok's a top long-haul destination for young British travellers. Hi, we're here at Gap Beach, culture and partying, we're doing all three. For some, it's a voyage of self-discovery. I'm soul-searching because I really want to find like, who I am. But for beauticians Alicia and Georgia, it isn't. I came to Thailand because my dad was paying for it. So <laughs> it's a free holiday. <laughs> but now they're here, they're going to make the most of it. Top five things I want to do is get a massage, get a tan, and... Wow. She wants to see a lady boy. <laughs> It's really hot when you get outside, you can't breathe. Yeah, that's we wore tights on the plane so that we could just take them off as soon as we got off. <laughs> you know what? You said easy accident. Oh, shit. <laughs> that as well. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> What's that mean? You're hitting two birds in one stone. Doing two things in one. Oh, OK. Shot. <laughs> OK. Alicia and Georgia will spend the first half of their holes with Alicia's dad, Andy, and his partner, Chan. The second half, they're on their own, including a trip to the full moon party. I think they should go and experience, but I've told them to be very, very careful. A bit worried yeah. about them. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about them. It's quite boring when they have, like, drink and drama and that. Should we just go and get pissed? Probably. Can't get too drunk. <laughs> We've got to get up in the morning. We've got to get up in the morning. We've got to go to the gym in the morning, have we? Get beach balls. <laughs> we go to him every day. We leave our old, when we leave our old man, we're going to be nicking lads, so we've got to get beach balls. <laughs> oh, don't get my cellular. <laughs> With Dad footing the bill, the first half of the trip should be a doddle. <laughs> oh. But will they still be smiling when they go it alone? If you're ever in bother at Bangkok Airport, your best bet's to head for Tourist Police HQ. This 90-strong squad of officers are dedicated to helping travellers in trouble and doing it with a smile. <laughs> Sergeants Bo Pitt and Jang patrol one of the biggest airport terminals in the world. At six million square feet, it's some beat, but they've got it covered on their brand new segways. I, I am. <laughs> Every, everybody can do it. <laughs> On their super segways, the tourist police are ready for any emergency, from taxi touts to threatening behaviour to lost property. Lots of lost property. Camilla. Yes. Lot Camilla. Passport. Lot passport. Husband. Husband. Yes. Friend. Friend. More. Do you have more? Yeah. Uh, money. <laughs> money. Uh, oh, money is number one. Yes. And some kids, lot hotel. Yeah. Lot yeah. the way, you know. Lot the way to the he hotel. Forget the name where. of the hotel. <laughs> Back at the office, the first loser of the day is Matt from Rotherham. I did not have flight. I had e-ticket. Just... Uh -huh. 
I've just got... He's desperate to get home after his wallet containing credit cards and cash was stolen. It's a tough one, but Sergeant Jang's on the case. Can help him for sending back, but how? Try to thinking that. Yeah. Don't know, uh, don't, don't worry because police, police, we are Superman. <laughs> My daughter's in hospital. Uh, well, sad accident. I need to get home. That I don't, my flight is in for two weeks. So I come to change today and there's no, no ticket yet. I've lost my bank card. I just can't get home. Matt's return ticket is non-transferable and with no money, he wants to buy a ticket online using his girlfriend's card number back home. My, my, my girlfriend sent me number on her card. Mm -hmm. If I can get a flight, I can just type in and go. Ah, yes. So I try on internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, are you hungry? I don't know what I am. Uh, okay. No, I've got some, 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 some coffee? I need a drink. Water. Drink. Water. water. Oh, no. What airport is this? <laughs> Manchester. Tomorrow. I'll do. Matt checks his flight options, but just as he's about to buy his ticket, Sergeant Chang spots a problem. Some airline. In Thailand, some airline. Uh, if you buy ticket by, by credit card, you must show this card. You know, have card, right? No, I've not no, got card. This card is at home. What do I need to do now? Uh, your girlfriend buy ticket for you, and then okay. send this ticket to your email. Your okay. email. Okay. Angela, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to book me a ticket. Right, I've just. Angela, I've got one up here on internet, but I can't pay, I can't pay for it. You've got to you you've got to buy it. And then email when it when it comes through document, you'll go after it. Email that document then to here. Departure uh, tomorrow, Quetar Airways. Yes, it's from Bangkok. That's right, Angela. Book it, me. Angela, I can't because if I could book it, I need the card to show them. This is strange. It's she's doing exactly the same what I can do here, but I can book this now. But they're saying I can't have it. It's just the same. She's going to do exactly the same. Whatever they email me here, I, I've got it here. I just, I do not understand. What's the difference? No, I no, could buy that now. Okay, go and, with... And, and, print, and print it off okay. here, ticket. Mm. Matthew goes okay. tomorrow. Okay. Three hours in, Matt's no nearer to flying out. This could be a long haul. Two floors down from Police HQ is the airport's state-of-the-art medical centre. Doctors here treat more than 30,000 patients a year, but they still find time for a laugh. Oh, sorry. And no-one likes to laugh more than Dr Art. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Except his best pal, Dr Jack. Oh, Dr Jack. <laughs> He's like, the most funniest guy ever. <laughs> and when he comes here, he always comes with a loud laugh. <laughs> Even we in the toilet from the outside, we can hear his laugh. <laughs> Today, Jack's put a smile on everyone's face. He's just back from London with presents for the team. Most of the Thai girls love uh, shopping. So four of the nurses making an order with me. <laughs> the top one from London. <laughs> but Dr Jack wasn't on holiday in London. He actually flew there at the controls of his jumbo. His other job's a pilot. I dreamed to be a pilot since I was a young boy, but when I graduated as a physician, I tried to follow my dream to be a pilot. But multi-talented Dr Jack pops into the clinic when the staff are pushed. Today he's helping John, who's been in the wars. That's my T-shirt after the crash. I had to wrap that around my head because I didn't know how bad the cut was. And he was actually cut. He was passed out, so I thought he was dead. John and his mate Chris were on a round Asia trip until the wheels came off. Yesterday I was in Laos. Uh, we were trying to get to the airport for a connecting flight here. And unfortunately we had a road crash, ended up in the ditch in the jungle. It was just a free accident, basically. I don't know if it was the car's fault, the weather's fault, or a little bit of our fault. But basically we tried to turn the, the corner. The car didn't respond quite as it should. It just so happened that I happened to turn the camera on at the time, you know, a second before it happened, so... Uh, it is pretty traumatic, just me screaming my head most of the time. Last thing I remember is just going down the ditch, but I, I passed out. I, I passed out. I was out. I was just 
I was so that was scary. I thought I lost my best mate, and then there's blood everywhere with me. So, but look, you know, those people all around that came and held us straight away. As soon as you woke up, I knew it would be fine. Great holiday snaps. Really good for the album. Although I'm not Facebook on that one. John's problems aren't over. Dr. Jack has to decide if he's well enough to board his plane. Without a fit to fly certificate, his journey ends here. So you confirm that uh, when you got the accident, you did not lose the conscience, right? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, I saw good. the whole thing, unfortunately. Good. Do you feel nausea? Uh, no, not at all. No. Any blur vision? No, no, no blur vision. Okay. Great. It's the first time John's had a good look at his wound. I just hope the girls, they like scars. That makes a, makes a guy more attractive, right? Selfie over, Dr. Jack begins his examination. I just observe for his movement and his pupil -pu reaction with the light. OK, follow the light, please. I think that all of his neurological signs are perfectly normal. So I think it's just only the wounds. Would you mind if I prescribe you an antibiotics? Because right now, I think you will need it. OK, is that going to affect my flight? Pa is that going to affect me getting on this next flight? No, 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 no. You, I, I think that you can catch your flight. Great, no problem. no problem. It's a result, though Jack says John's had a narrow escape. In case of John, I think his accident is not serious at all, by my experience, because I used to have the case who lost his arm or maybe decapitated. With the all clear and a new dressing, John and Chris can make their way to check in. Thank you very much. OK. Thank God for this. Fit to fly. Fit to fly. Get in. The universe is doing its hardest to try and, like, uh, ruin things for us, but we're just not going to give in. There's just better times ahead, you know that for sure. But once again, fate takes a hand. I don't think I got my passport back off from. No, I had to hand it in at the, at the desk at the hospital there. Did they give it back to you? No. Oh, here we go again. With John convinced he's left his passport at the medical centre, airline staff race over to see if they can retrieve it in time. Or has that knock to the head affected his memory? The agent of the medical centre has confirmed that they returned the passport to you already. Did you find it yet? They didn't go back to me, no. Please, please have a look again. <laughs> Sorry, I have us. I have us. It was mixed in with all my bloody clothes. Passport in hand, John and Chris are free to continue their Far East adventure. Bangkok Airport serves more than just Bangkok. It's the gateway to Thailand's holiday islands. Alicia and Georgia have been sampling the delights of Koh Samui. So far, they've done it in style, thanks to Alicia's dad, Andy, and his partner, Chen. But they're flying out today, and the girls will be on their own. So far on holiday, they've done absolutely nothing for themselves. <laughs> Chen's organised virtually everything. Um, and so we decided from now on, they've got to start organising it all themselves. <laughs> but we had to force them into booking their accommodation. Yeah. They haven't even booked their boat yet to go to the no. full moon party. So we're going to have to tell them to do that, otherwise that's not going to happen. Now they're down to reality. I don't know how they're going to get on once we've gone back. They've been staying the same accommodation we have, but they're now having to do the backpackers bit with the one stars and the hostels. So now it's the moment of truth as Dad and Chan say goodbye to the girls. <laughs> well, you better be careful. I don't want to get a phone call. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm not a kid anymore, I'm telling you. Bye, bye. <laughs> You're sweaty. See ya. See ya. Bye, I love you. Bye. So it's goodbye to the good life. From now on, the friends will be roughing it. They've already had to move into more modest accommodation. We've not got room service. <laughs> <laughs> we need the room service. <laughs> okay, well, I can't do my hair. Yeah. I don't know, they don't really have toilet paper out here, but in the bars and that, people just squirt themselves and then be done with it. I couldn't do it, to be honest. Just like and you hole. just have to squat into the hull. And then you get this bowl. Like it's just like a big bucket full of water with a little and pot you just in like, it. And they just you've like got a scoop it. In just, just... <laughs> I don't know, but we didn't do it. We, we had to go and get tissue. We couldn't, couldn't do it. I think it's good to do things like this. Yeah, gives you like, a kick up the ass, doesn't it? I'm not scared. I think I'm quite sensible. <laughs> Come on, not. Their first task is to book a boat to the full moon party on the nearby island of Copangan. 
Hello. Hello. Do you know the speed boat for full moon party? Speed boat. Speed boat. Full moon party. Uh, half a uh, room lap. High speed boat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High speed boat. That's not right. It starts from one, goes all the way through to seven. So you get picked up and you have to wait an hour. Mm. It's not right. That is right. No, just Jordan, I'm not booking nothing. I'm not paying for a speed boat. I want to get there in speedy time, not fucking sit on a boat an hour and wait. Five star restaurants are now a thing of the past. We didn't come to places like this when we were with my dad and Jen. I don't really know about what money I've got because I don't even check my account and just draw it out. <laughs> it's not going to last forever, is it? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They've discovered a knack to eating cheaply. Thank you. Sorry, we can't tip you. It's not just food and accommodation. Every bus and boat will have to be paid for. OK, so, we're... so how much is it all together? Yeah. Thank you. Now they're on a budget, Alicia and Georgia will have to watch what they spend. But what did they spend? How much is that, anyway? 2,400. It was What's 8 plus 8? 8 is 58. Eight plus eight. Eight plus eight is nine. Eight plus eight is nine. Sixteen. Sixteen. That's eight plus eight. Wait, how much was it? <laughs> they're smiling now, but they'll have to improve their maths if they're to survive the holiday without the bank of dad. I cannot afford oh, okay, water. Okay, 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 I know money. Okay. Back at the airport of Smiles, Matt's still stranded. His wallet's been stolen and now he's losing his sense of humour. And that is... that is cheap. Cheap. That's what I can afford. Oh. Sergeant Jang has told him he can't use his girlfriend's car details to yes. book the flight. Some ally, if you buy ticket, buy credit card, before you, you have fight, when you check in, you must show this card to... So he's calling his mum to see if he can get some cash through his travel insurance. Hi, hi, travel, travel, travel. But phoning Rotherham on your mobile doesn't come cheap. I use telephone. Uh, we have some car. You you want to uh, make overseas, right? No, uh, I don't know. I, I've got to ring that number. Oh, that number. Seen, that number. They've okay. told told my 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 girlfriend. That number, I ring that, it says they will definitely help me and they'll bring me money to airport. I don't think that's working. Wrong number, wrong number. I have to go back. You'll never see me in Thailand ever again. Ever. Back at the tourist police, Matt bites the bullet and calls Mum on his mobile. It doesn't connect to anything. Well, it's a massive number as, as it is. I'm thinking it's, it's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 14 numbers long. Right, all right, all right, Mum, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. All right, Mum. Yeah, so. Finally, Matt gets through to the insurers. It's a uh, flex, flex account travel cover upgrade, worldwide cover. Yeah, it's emergency, international emergency. So that is me, and you can get my knee. I, I need, I, I need to fax this. What do you want to do? Sir, can Only. you take a photo and send by? Oh, you, you by can email? scan. Because we, we, we can you, we know can you send by email? Stay. You just make things complicated. Oh. They need that document okay. to prove that I have been robbed. And then Sir? they might send me, might give me money. And you can't just buy a ticket and just show them your passport and get on a plane. Why can't they pull strings and make one exception? Why can't I just go to airline and say, look, is he Let's just let him show that ticket, passport, and get him on? Why can't they just do that? Unbelievable. So if, if I don't do that, I'm just here forever, am I? I just waste away. With no solution in sight, Matt's in danger of forgetting the airport's golden rule. Smile. Not only does Bangkok call itself the Airport of Smiles, it prides itself on its helpful and friendly staff. As Matt's discovered, from dawn to dusk, they're here to help. Take Officer Nook from airport security. I love working at the airport. I love passengers from every country. 
but beware, when she's checking you in, she's really checking you out. I come to work in for, uh, at, at the airport because I need to find boyfriend from Europe. <laughs> then I love people from England. Yes, I find them every day, but I don't know why them don't like me. <laughs> Maybe because I am funny girl. <laughs> While Officer Nook wishes passengers a pleasant flight, Captain Jack welcomes them to Thailand with a smile. People visiting Thailand, like, they know the rule. When, when they know the rule, most of them, when, when I smile, they will smile back. Yes. Can I ask you, how do you like Thailand? <laughs> this way. Did you say welcome to Thailand? See? I miss that. <laughs> How do you like Thailand? Huh? Pardon? How do you like Thailand? Thailand? Very much. Which way? Okay. Yeah, this way. Welcome to Thailand, by the way. <laughs> Why you come to Thailand? Sorry? Why you come to Thailand? Uh, for honeymoon. Honeymoon? Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Captain Jack is especially happy to welcome this visitor to Thailand. So you have a good trip? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. He's just got hitched himself and he's still basking in the afterglow. We are happy and we made the music video and I share it to the cyber world. Is it fun? Tourist Police HQ, Melody's just stepped off a connecting flight from Phuket and her passport's not with her. It's another case for Bopit to look into. On the plane, where did you keep your passport? I can't remember. You cannot remember? No, but my, both these bags, uh -huh. both of these bags here, uh -huh. was in the, um, what is that called? You know, above the head. Uh, I know, I know. Yeah? After you get on the plane, did you take it out from the cabin? Can you remember? No, I didn't. I didn't take it out. Oh. No. Lost passports are an everyday problem at Bangkok Airport. Melody thinks hers fell out of her little bag when she was putting it in her big bag. Ugh, it's heavy. It's a beach bag and it doesn't shut. I should have, I, I've only had one bit of hand luggage, but where I was so over in my normal luggage, they told me to take out seven kilos. So that's when I got this bag out to put everything in. She lost passport, camera, wallet, wallet sunglasses. Yeah, everything inside. In Gucci bag. Yeah, my name is uh, Miss Melody, or why Melody? Without a passport, Melody can't leave Thailand, never mind catch her flight. She calls the British Embassy for help. I need to do an emergency travel document. So, but they, they, you only can do that in the morning, not the afternoon. You think, you know, am I going to be stuck here? You, do you know what I mean? Like, how long for? I've got no way of getting home, no passport, no transport. I've got no other ID on me. So, yeah, really, really stressful. You need, you need a stiff drink after this. Definitely. The staff take a moment to discuss her case when Melody steps out for some fresh air. But Melody's not happy with the way the police are handling her case. They're not really taking care of me in a nutshell. There's no, there's no sympathisation here at all. And I've felt a little bit interrogated. With the embassy due to close for the day, Melody doesn't want to risk the trip into Bangkok. I don't want to get there and it's going to be shut. Like, that would just be the worst. That would like, tip me off the iceberg. It really would, because I'm so stressed out right now. Like, it's very stressful. It started to look like another night in Bangkok. You know, I was so looking forward to getting home, and now I can't. I suppose I could top up on my tan, though, can't I? <laughs> Thank you. 
back at the airport's medical centre, Jack, the flying doctor, is busy taking orders for his next trip to England. The nurse who works here earn or just only twenty pounds for one day. As a pilot, you can shopping in any place you fly. Okay. So I try to make everyone happy when they work with me. Okay. So we finish uh, getting uh, many orders from us. Emergency test. Okay. One patient get faint at uh, get Delta One Alpha, so I have to be there. The presence will have to wait. A passenger has collapsed at one of the gates with a suspected heart attack. As a pilot, Jack takes the shortcut across the tarmac. Okay, one B. Okay, 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 the patient is an Italian tourist taken ill as he boarded the plane home. He literally just collapsed. Okay, so it just collapsed. Okay. He's 74 years old. Okay. He's on, he what are you? Antibiotics, bronchitis, hyperpressure. Yes. Okay, so that's all you have, right? Sad and the. The patient's pulse is faint, so Dr. Jack administers oxygen. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Let me help. Let me lead. Bye. Okay, let's move. When the patient starts responding, he's stretched out of departures. There's an ambulance waiting to take him to hospital in Bangkok. Two hours later, Jack's back. Oh, I'm exhausted. He's confident the patient will make a full recovery. When, when he arrived at the hospital, he gained full, full conscious, and he, but he's still confused. And he's pleased with the way his staff responded to the emergency. The team, the team, I have to say the team, took care of him complete. Uh, my team is fantastic today. It's another happy ending. Thanks. But he knows his next shopping trip's really going to cost him. On the island of Koh Phangan, British holidaymakers Alicia and Georgia have joined the crowds at the full moon party. This techno fueled dust to dawn rave on a beach has become a rite of passage for thousands of young Brits. With its day glow face paint, vodka buckets, and magic milkshakes, it's a good place to find yourself or just get lost. But losing each other could be the least of their worries. Lethal, we watched some documentary on Thailand and it was like saying all the dodgy stuff that happens and we thought, right, we better not go. <laughs> and it actually was not going to come, but then we just thought, we'll go, we'll have a look. If it feels a bit dodgy, we'll just go home early. But having come all this way, be ashamed not to join in. What do you want to do? We're running out of drinks. Do you want to get another bucket? We're going to be on the floor. Well, what do you want to do then? And let's get another one. <laughs> But even the drinks are a disappointment. That ain't vodka, is it? That's not vodka. That is vodka. Okay, something like this. Try that. We don't want it. It's disgusting. Where's the money? I haven't paid her. You haven't paid her? All right, we won't have it. We don't want it. They just probably refill it round the back. We've got petrol or something. It's not just the vodka buckets that are a letdown. It's like being in Magaloo for a load of university students all bunged together in one. It's not always cracked up to be at all. Woo! Big Burns Bia was absolutely shit. Don't really see what it's doing. It was alright, cracked up. But I wouldn't brave about it. London is the best thing. Shoreditch is better. Yeah, Shoreditch is better than that. That's fucking. So much for the full moon party. <sighs> and Alicia is not the only one feeling fed up tonight. Back at the airport, Matt seems no nearer to getting home after his long evening with the tourist police. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six hours. <laughs> 
Matt's insurers want to see proof he's had his wallet stolen. This email, there's something attached to it, it needs opening. Mm -hmm. Printing. Oh, I, know, I know. I have to sign. Oh, yeah. Scan. Mm -hmm. Send back. Oh, you know. OK, OK. Just a moment. Despite doubts from Sergeant Chang, Matt's convinced he can buy a flight online using card details from the UK. He calls the British Embassy for advice. I know. I know that's what I've told these. Oh, but the embassy man here saying it's bloody stupid. I don't need the card to get on the plane. I'll try that then. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. He said to me, British Embassy man, if my girlfriend booked me flight with my card, I need to show them. She booked back home with her card. I don't need to show nothing. Suddenly, Sergeant Chang has a thought. What kind of the card? What kind of card? Yeah, that she buy the ticket. It's credit card, right? Credit card or debit card? Credit card. De debit card. Oh, debit card is no problem. Ah, it's OK. It's OK. Debit card is OK, not credit card. It turns out while a credit card might have to be produced on departure, a debit card doesn't. Well, this like this that. could have been sorted hours ago. Mm. Ah, sorry. Right. Things are finally on the move. All Matt needs now is his girlfriend's debit card. I need a debit card. Oh. Angela, I need a debit card. You've got to find me one. You'll have to ring your mates, I don't know. I need... Right, what you... Not a credit card, debit card. Well, I can't do it then, can I? Well, I'm here forever then, aren't I? <laughs> so long. <laughs> At five to three in the morning, Matt finally books his flight. It's another triumph for the tourist police. He get a flight, <laughs> just... He will going home. Coming soon. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do for next. The Manchester plane's not leaving for quite a while. 13 hours. But once again, the tourist police can put a smile on his face. Just want to be alone. Sergeant Jang unrolls the official tourist police duvet. Cleaning. And he can get his head down for one more night in Bangkok. <laughs> It's a brand new day at the Airport of Smiles, and with so many different nationalities passing through, it's one of the best places in the world to people watch. And no one's better place to do it than Officer Jibby Doo. How may I help you? From a vantage point at the information desk, she can see you coming a mile off. With the appearance, I can tell very easily if they were from India, mm. Dubai, yes, Pakistan, China. They have this specific look, British. They have this elegant look, especially with business guys. Yeah, they pride with themselves. They stand straight and with their strong accent. <laughs> you know, like a bit snobby, <laughs> a bit snobby. <laughs> But not everyone matches that snobby British stereotype. In fact, some people make a point of smashing it to bits. It's me, it's Paul. Paul's from Dundee, but he lives out here in Thailand, only leaving reluctantly when he's due back on the rigs. Who are they? Who are you? I work in Norway. I do two weeks on, four weeks off. So I uh, spend my time over here, have my girlfriend over here and, uh, and just enjoy myself. The thought of even going back to Dundee, nah, love Thailand, love it to bits. It's full of beautiful women, it's sunshine, you can't, you can't even compare it to, you know. I've got a tie with a little Thai badge, I've got the headband on, and of course you've seen the mask, a little bit of terrorism. Just for sure. Thailand, one love. Paul's done the sensible thing and arrived at the airport in plenty of time. In fact, he's got 14 hours to kill before he catches his plane. My flight's at 2 o'clock in the morning, so I have to check in about, what, 11 o'clock tonight? But that's fine by me, I'm happy. I don't, I don't mind. Just float about. Couple of beers, couple of smokes, have a little lie down somewhere. 
But passing time at any airport can be a drag, even at the Airport of Smiles. Okay, I'm gonna get an up here. That's okay. Are you sure you don't want one? It's not just the passengers who get bored. The staff too have to manage their downtime. Sergeants Jang and Bo Pitt take the opportunity to do a spot of PR work for the tourist police. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> OK, bye. Oh, uh, where are you from? Israel. Italy. Israel. Have you been Israel. to here before? Israel. 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 Oh. I've been here once. Oh, OK. If you need some help, call to my office. Yeah. Tony, Tony. The first yeah. 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 Call to this yeah. number. Yeah. yeah, you can do it for the uh, bookmark, you know, bookmark, when you read, read in the book. You're welcome. Yeah, bye. But for Captain Jack, there's nothing sadder than an empty immigration room. This time is like nobody. You can see nobody. See, see, nobody, nobody, nobody is here. Thai people, we love our country, and we like to have everybody come visit, so this kind of sad situation that I got right now. Captain Jack cheers himself up by uploading another one of his home videos. This is my channel. This is my first performance in immigration. His star turn at the last immigration party has gone down in departmental history. Do you know who are you talking with? The superstar of immigration bureau. Look, look, in the middle. Look. The commissioner of immigration guru retired. So we made a party to farewell him and our division made the performance to celebrate the retirement. I am in the middle. Still in the middle. Look. And now at Mr. Commissioner, he will call me up like, Gangnam, Gangnam, come here, come here. And I wonder one day he will remember my name. Yeah. In downtown Bangkok, Melody's a step closer to getting home. Yesterday, she told the British Embassy she'd lost her passport, but today, a funny thing's happened. So I found my passport um, within another bit of hand luggage that I had, that had um, a bit of a rip in it, and it was underneath, in between a particular notebook that I use. I take it out because I like to write notes, etc., um, and it was just floating in between. After reporting her passport missing, Melody wants um, to double-check it's still valid. I found my passport. Oh, that's good. I found my passport. Um, so I just thought I'd come to the embassy out of courtesy to see yourself. Um, maybe so you can make sure that this is valid and All not right. reported stolen or mm -hmm. lost. It's not the first time something like this has happened to Melody. I, I have got a track record of missing flights and being late everywhere, etc. But that's because I've got a busy schedule and I suppose leave everything to last minute. Yeah, so I suppose it is a little bit of a tip for me. I'll throw my hands up. Keep it safe. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to laugh about it, now. A very relieved Melody can go ahead and book her flight home. <laughs> Alicia and Georgia are also on their way back to Britain, none the worse for their full moon party experience. One of these boys was that proper weirdo, and he just come up behind me and started dancing behind me, like grabbing my hands and going like this, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck off. And then we had to leave because he was such a weirdo. Georgia ended up sleeping with him. <laughs> <laughs> I need a tissue. 
After all those budget hotels, the girls have decided to treat themselves. We fly premium because then the chair reclines and you get extra leg room and stuff. It's a long flight. <laughs> Just sit in the lift cart, one by the aisle and one next sit together. Okay. One by the aisle and one by the exit. One uh, next. One next. <laughs> They might have survived Thailand, but they didn't quite do it on a backpacker's budget. Should we tell them how much we spent? <laughs> we put all our money together, <laughs> and um, you, you can tell them. Uh, we spent about five, five and a half grand. <laughs> Don't know how people do it on a grand. <laughs> I was on the phone to my dad saying, you can send us 200 squid, could ya? <laughs> like you ran out of money. <laughs> At the departure gate, the friends take a few final moments to reflect on their experiences and the profound effect Thailand has had on them. We definitely changed, though. Like, we had dinner the other day and we found the hair in the food. And usually, if I was in England, I'd be, like, complaining, saying, I'm not paying for this, it's disgusting. And I just pulled the hair out and carried on eating. <laughs> I was shocked myself. <laughs> and on his way home to Yorkshire is Matt. He'd kill for a meal with a hair in it. Last thing I had to eat, cockroach. Crunchy. After a night under the tourist police duvet, he's not had much kit. So I've had, what? Well, about five hours. It lasts 48 hours, I think. Well, I'm on my way home now. Last night, I couldn't see light at end of the tunnel. I thought I were here forever. Upstairs, up that escalator. Thank you. After checking in for his flight to Manchester via Guangzhou in China, Matt has his hard-earned boarding pass in his hand. No, I won't lose that. Miss Bless, my boarding pass. I think I've put it down when I've put my stuff through the X-ray machine and that. I don't understand where it's gone. Matthew, Matthew James, cap. You're waiting here for the new new body pass. Body pass. Yes. Uh, no problem. Once again, the airport staff saved the day. A replacement's issued, and Matt can finally get home to see his daughter. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Does that everything match? Does it match with that? Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Well <laughs> I keep eye on that. <laughs> <laughs> Zip. Can't wait to get her on plane. Can't wait. The biggest hug she's ever had. <laughs> hey, I've got to go. Can't talk about my daughter. It upsets me. See you later. Matt's on his way, but Paul's still got six hours to go before his flight takes off. Although he's managing to pass the time. Cheers. <laughs> From the minute I get up to the minute I go, I sleep out drink, so. That's it. I'm pure Scottish. <laughs> it's there. It's in the blood. Paul may be Scottish, but his heart's in Thailand. I've been having a party since the minute I got here. I'm not actually pissing. It's an elephant. It uh, has water coming up. Right now. <laughs> That's the name. My girlfriend. I love her, but I miss her a lot. My dream would just be to stay here and not have to go back to work at all, you know. Paul's starting to feel sentimental, so he decides to go back into Bangkok and give his girlfriend a surprise. I've been here from 12 o'clock today. My flight's at 2 o'clock in the morning. I've had enough. I just want to go back to Warrior. I've checked in, but I'm about to check out again. But he's already passed through immigration. He can check in any time he likes, but he can never leave except on a plane. Go to Abu Dhabi. Yeah, but I already changed. I already been through and come back again. You cannot. Because you have If I go change flight, I can do. You cannot outside because you can't sit past center. The airport has put its foot down. There's nothing for it but to have another drink. I have to pay with card. Credit card cannot. Credit card minimum 500 baht. Oh, okay. Paul's not the only one who's had a few tonight. Blackburn girls Becky, Jenny and Courtney are on their way home after the holiday of a lifetime. It's been the best holiday ever. Like, literally, I can't even put into words how good it actually is. And I can't even... I actually cried. All the fireworks went off and a little tear came down my face. And then I went, oh, forget it, it's happening. I just burst out into tears. It was so funny. 
It was amazing. Magaluf, never again. Zante, never again. Thailand, every year. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Sounds like the party went on till the very last minute. We ended up having a few drinks, sing along to all the songs. Yeah, there there's was a, a band playing, like Oasis and everything. So, so <laughs> we can't wait. It was so good. And we were loving it. it so we were so like, good. we don't want to go, we don't want to go. So it got to 11 o'clock, we were like, right, we need to go. And they went 10 more minutes, yeah. 15 more minutes. Half and then half, half 11, yeah. we said, right, we need to go. Can I see body part, please? OK, I would have been easy. Thank you. On check-in tonight is Officer Nook, still single, still smiling. But those last few drinks could prove costly if the friends don't make their gate in time. Oh gosh, this is so much, this is so much stress right now. <laughs> what is this plane? So what do we do here? Okay, we're flying. Oh, it's 23 minutes past one and we need to board <laughs> <laughs> at half one. Right, so we've got six minutes to get right. to our gate. Okay. The girls aren't the only ones having trouble. Paul's got his gate number, but he can't find the gate. See it? Yeah. <laughs> See it. See it. See it. Yeah. I think I'm in the wrong bit. Right, Jenny, hurry up. <laughs> But no matter how late you are for boarding, you've got to make time for the essentials. Excuse me, where can I get a smoke? Jenny, we really we need to go. go. We really, really need to go. All right, Mum. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Let me have a look on this board to see where we are. Y'all are. That's risky. <laughs> there! Work! Oh, God, I'm scared. <laughs> I think we should run. How is this even happening? Shut up. Right, hurry up. Right. I think there's about five people left. We actually yeah. do need to be really quick. The girls make their flight in the nick of time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Meanwhile, Paul's epic journey is nearing an end. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. At last, he's tracked down gate C8. But after all that walking, he decides to take a short nap just as boarding gets underway. <coughs> and as the plane fills up, Paul goes almost unnoticed behind the partition. Hello, yeah. is there anybody in there? Then, just as the gate is about to close, an eagle-eyed airport official spots him. After a few anxious moments, they managed to revive him. And after checking on his well-being, Paul is helped gently on board. So it's goodbye to the airport of smiles. Though you can always get another drink on the plane. Next time at Bangkok Airport, it's the annual awards for customer service. I love my work. I love my job. I love tourists. But not everyone's impressed with the airport service. That's impossible. That is impossible. That doesn't work for me at all. A British backpacker puts his foot in it. This is it from just about two days later. It is quite gruesome. <laughs> we meet the singing doctor with his own fan club. <laughs> and more hijinks in departures. Young passenger, the... <laughs> Get off the clothes. Oh, fat my ass, When we check in again at Bangkok Airport.